Hi, I'm Dave and welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today we're going to be doing a comparison video of the Clever Spa Thermal Cover versus the Lazy Spa Thermal Cover. And the one they've sent us is for the 190 centimeter round hot tub, which is for the Milan. Now that's compatible with a whole list of other round hot tubs. I'll put a card up on display now so you can see what all the different compatibilities are for the different tubs and covers that they have. The Lazy Spa one is made of much more durable material than our Clever Spa cover that we had. It's the same material that the Milan lid is made out of, which is from Duraplus, which is UV resistant. And I will show you how our Clever Spa one has faded in just about three months, which is a great shame. I don't know how well this is going to be seen on the camera. Um, I hope it does show up nicely. But this is the Clever Spa one. And that is roughly what it looked like when we got it three months ago. And now you can see how much it's faded in just three months. So I think the camera is showing that up quite nice that this looks like a gray whereas this looks like a blue and this is just a soft material and I found that when wind gets underneath it it doesn't blow off but this does flap from clever spa so let's get this out of the way and have our lovely lazy spa cover um, it's definitely a thicker heavier material so hopefully the wind won't get under this and to lift it up and therefore that should actually trap more air in as well uh, it's also a thicker and heavier material with a cotton liner for insulation and a mold mildew barrier between that and the outer case as well so it's going to have at least a outer front outer back mildew liner front and back and then the cotton liner in there as well. So hopefully it should be better insulation than what the Clever Spa one is. Because Clever Spa say that their one is up to 50%. I certainly haven't found that to be the case. Lazy Spa says that theirs is only 40%, which don't be put off by that. I think that's a much more realistic claim than the one of 50% from Clever Spa, which I think was a bit misleading. It's not. 50%. A 4% claim is definitely more realistic and believable. And especially as it's a thicker, heavier material, it should be better. Currently, we were getting around about a two degree heat increase when we had the old thermal cover on. And I'd expect that to be at least the same, if not better with the Lazy Spa. We'll get on with the unboxing and I'll show you some of the features that it comes with. You then have the thermal liner itself and that is definitely heavier so we just pop the box open and get rid of that and that's nice that it comes with a vacuum seal bag with a clip to seal it down so you can pack it away in when you have finished um, obviously if you are going to pack away make sure it's perfectly dry when you do We just, we'll just get this on, put the bag up, and it comes out. Under your clip if you've got the external pump, or even if you have the internal one, and that under does that go clip, over so it's easy to get very, over. Very easily, because this is slightly too big for this hot tub as it is designed for another one. Now there's no way of actually getting that tighter around there. So what I might do is get a ratchet strap or something. Give it a little shimmy shimmy shake. I know we're going to be leaving out during bad weather just to stop this from lifting up and blowing off. Um, They've sealed the seam as well. Here we have the Lazy Spa and this is the Clever Spa one which hasn't faded on this particular side. And you can see the double stitching in comparison. So this is the door section where you can see the difference in the zips. It's a much chunkier zip, which hopefully will last longer as I know that the smaller zips on my motorbike jacket have gone in the past as things got easily caught in it and the zips weren't particularly strong. Uh, their door is insulated, whereas this door isn't. 
It's a shame if they did, I would have liked them to have put the insulation on the door. I'd also like them to produce an add-on where you can unzip this panel and buy a second panel that goes around the pump and then you can zip that on. And so it would then, you could have a smooth shape if you've got a built-in pump or a little pocket insulation for the pump. Because with the new pumps, which are Wi-Fi controlled, you don't need access to the buttons. You can control it from your phone. So just have it pump covered as well. That'd be a nice addition if they could add that in the future. The amount of fabric lining feels similar. Um, I can't tell really if there's any difference with the amount of insulation inside, but just being a stitched on there, um, I don't think wind was getting through there or water was getting through it as such. Um, but this one being a solid plastic is definitely going to be more wind resistant than a stitch. And it's going to also be the, the weight of it, the sheer weight of it is going to keep it down better because this one did bounce around. Whereas this one, I, I can't see this blowing around. As I was packing everything up after filming, I thought I'll put the Clever Spa cover on top of the Lazy Spa cover because the Clever Spa was always way, way too big and caused that bit of a flap that I was mentioning and I was hoping the Lazy Spa would avoid by being heavier. And it's not going to avoid it just because it's heavier, it's going to avoid it because it's the right size. Because the Clever Spa, I don't know if they're different sizes, I'll have to double check, just always was loose and I thought maybe I bought the wrong one but I hadn't because the small one was going to be too small. I had the medium and the Lazy Spa cover is also medium. But that now looks like a nice good tight fit. But that's because I've got the Lazy Spa one underneath that. Obviously not meant to double them up but this doesn't have all that loose flop that the other one had. This is exactly the right size for the Lazy Spa. Obviously Lazy Spa making it for the Lazy Spa and maybe Clever Spa's one because they try to make it universal for a range of their products. Maybe it was just the wrong size for the Lazy Spa. But the Lazy Spa ones are compatible with other manufacturers. I'll pop up the compatibility chart again um, so you can see how they are compatible with in the range of Lazy Spa and then you can check to see if it will fit other manufacturers if you have another brand spa. But for me, for the four to six person Lazy Spa, Milan, Paris. Um, this is absolutely perfect. This is exactly the right one to get. Now, I'm not gonna double them up. I'm gonna just leave it this one and find out how quick it will heat and how long it will retain. And I'll try and edit that in at the end of the video if I can. So far, I found it managed to heat up one degree in 15 minutes. Um, but it is directly under sun, so maybe it's a bit unfair at the moment, but so far it has heated up a lot, lot quicker. Thank you very much to Lazy Spa for sponsoring the video and giving this to us for us to keep. Ask us questions in the comments and we'll get back to you if you have any questions about the cover, because we're gonna be using this all the time now and we'll find out how efficient it is. I'm hoping it's going to be a lot better than the Clever Spa and I think it will be. Currently we are getting a heat ratio of two degrees per hour um, before and hopefully we can get that down a bit. It might not be too noticeable because it might just be a half hour difference but it will add up over the time and at night we're currently losing five degrees roughly. Obviously different temperatures at night are going to vary it um, throughout the year but Again, we're hoping that we're going to lose less heat with this one. It's, I'm really, really liking to see how these seams are all done. Because when, when your lid starts to deflate slightly, uh, rainwater does pool on here and you've got to keep brushing it off. So you know that you've got to reinflate both the tub and the lid. But with this one, because the seams are sealed, not only are they double stitched, but they're sealed as well. If water does pool, it's not going to permeate into it and being a plastic UV safe Dura Plus plasticized material it's going to be waterproof as well so really really am liking this very glad we got it and um, if this is available when we got the hot tub we would have got this one uh, if you buy them directly from Lazy Spa they will guarantee it for a full 12 months so 
we haven't got Amazon links because as I said, this is a pre-sale sample that we've got and I, it will hold up for 12 months. I'm absolutely certain on that. If you do get Amazon affiliate links, we'll provide those as well. Um, but at the moment, this is purely available from Lazy Spa. And when this video goes out, you probably still can't get one, but you can put a pre-order in. Okay, and there we have our quick video of the comparison between the Clever Spa Thermal Cover versus the Lazy Spa Thermal Cover. I personally think that the Lazy Spa one is far, far better for a Lazy Spa hot tub or spa as they are exactly the right size and don't flop around. Whereas the Clever Spa ones may be better for a Clever Spa. I don't know, I haven't got a Clever Spa to try it, but looking at the sizes, I actually think the Lazy Spa would be better as well. So check your sizes first, but if you, are, if you do have a Lazy Spa, the Lazy Spa is most definitely the winner. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I do hope you found the video helpful. If so, do give it a good like, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. As always, have a nice day. Bye for now.